Hey guys, we are in Uvalde, Texas. On May 24th of 2022, an 18 year old gunman walked into Robb Elementary School, taking the lives of 19 kids and two teachers. Um, since that happened, I, a day doesn't go by that I have not stopped thinking about it. It broke our hearts so, so much, and it broke the hearts of everybody around the world. Because here we are again on another day of mourning in this country. Once again, we grieve for the uh, little boys and girls whose lives have been ended and whose families have been destroyed. When we arrived a few hours later, I gotta tell you, even from the inside of our vehicle, you, you, could, you could feel the shock in the town. You, you could feel the pain, the denial, the disillusion, anger, blame, sadness, loss of lives, dreams halted. We met with the local funeral director and countless morticians who, who hadn't slept since the massacre the day before, because they'd been working 24 seven trying to handle so many bodies at once. So many little innocent bodies who had their entire lives still yet to live children murdered at school when are we gonna do something we came here just to pay our respects and just you know we're, we're so sorry that ha that that happened deep our deepest deepest condolences to the families and friends who were affected by this uh it's just so sad um it's it's so sad what happened and you know, me having a child, I can, I can't imagine it, that ever happening. You know what I mean? Like, it's just so heartbreaking. Devastation here. The number of lives lost is very significant. It's elementary age kids, nine, ten, totally helpless, totally harmless. The shot in their own classroom. That image should really burn in people's memory as to we shouldn't have to relive Sandy Hook. Driving around here, it's been really, really, really nice and, and beautiful yeah. to see that the community is so, so tight here and there's Uvalde strong and prayers for Uvalde everywhere. everywhere. The memorials. memorials, all of the signs, everywhere around this town, it's, everyone has been, you know, affected by this, and it's just so nice to see all of the businesses showing and paying their respects to what happened. So again, we are deeply, deeply sorry this happened, and we hope that we can keep their memory going with this video that we're making, and there's not really much we can say I, I'm lost for words you know I, I it's, it's so sad being here we came to the local Walmart to get some flowers it was nice to see this little memorial inside When we arrived at the first memorial at the Uvalde downtown plaza, it was very hard to hold in my tears. I couldn't talk. I was overcome by sadness and anger. Anger because these kids and teachers did not deserve this. Uvalde did not deserve this. You can feel the pain in the air. It's so overwhelming.
And this morning, unimaginable tragedy compounded. Just days after Ticha Irma Garcia was gunned down, her husband Joe Garcia dying of a heart attack. The two were about to celebrate their 25th wedding anniversary. One of his final moments, laying flowers at the love of his life's memorial. They now leave behind four children, seen here overnight at a mass for the family, held in the pastor's embrace. Since the tragedy in Uvalde last week, people from across the country have been offering their condolences and support. Today, a group of mariachis from San Antonio traveled to Uvalde to perform classic songs that have long provided comfort for people grappling with loss. To bring a little bit of love, a little bit of comfort to our family here in Uvalde. I especially got teary-eyed when our little singer Mateo because, you know, he's so young. And to think of all these beautiful lives. from the students who were there, saying that the, there are classrooms full of victims, they need the police, we know the police were there. 19 officers had gone into the hallway, but they stayed in the hallway. This image breaks my heart. To see the pure terror on these kids' faces is so devastating. next person's door and then we have a door in the middle and he opened it and then he came in and 
he crouched a little bit and he said, it's time to die. And when I heard the shooting through the door, I, I told my friend to hide under something so, they, so he won't find us. I was hiding hard and I was telling my friend to not talk because he's going to hear us. to show us around and took us to pay our respects to some of the victims. Introduce yourself. Sure, my name is PJ Talavera. I'm a local resident here in Uvalde, Texas. I run the Black Belt Academy of Uvalde right on Main Street and uh, appreciate you guys coming out. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, let's see. I just came out to one, that's not it. It's either right over there. This is Jayla? Yep. This is, uh, this is Jace right here, one of the boys. And the uh, caskets were beautiful. You should have seen them. The caskets were just I saw pictures of them. They, uh, yeah, absolutely wonderful and beautiful. You know, and, and you can go to the, the funerals and the ones that were open casket, because uh, not all of them were. You can see how beautiful they looked and, and the inside of the casket and the outside of the casket and ornate beautifully painted but you're still staring at a dead child it's hard to yeah. process you can say oh they did a great job everything's great but yeah you know it's just it's just such an anomaly but so there's a jayla and, and jace wasn't really familiar with the young man but i, I knew him at a distance you can see the picture Kind of nice that they're buried together, right? Yeah. And uh, Jackie should be here somewhere. I guess we'll go around so we don't slip in the mud. Jackie? This her? Yeah. So this was, uh, this is my wife's niece here. Uh, it's oh, actually wow. her, it's her sister's niece. She loved her, you know, the same as an aunt would. And uh, 
we knew the family very well. It's a, just a wonderful family. It's such a loving family. She was one of our students at the, at the academy. Oh, um, man. I've got I've got video of her punching and doing some stuff that they had sent oh. me last week. Um, yeah, this is this is Jackie. This is, she was such a, a spitfire, such a lot of a lot of energy, go getter. You know, she she loved animals and and uh, and her her parents just loved the, just loved her to death. And it was this was rough. Uh, we were right here during the funeral, and, and the family was here just torn, absolutely torn. It was their baby. This uh, this white. I'm gonna step in here, Jackie. Don't get upset. Um, this white gown that she's wearing was her first communion, and she had just gotten her first communion two weeks before she died. So that's why they, they put her in the. That's why they put that picture there. It was one a recent picture with a, a happy moment, right? She was able to do that before. Yeah. And uh, her brother, her older brother Jonathan, is one of our black belts at the academy. He's a marine now. Well, we've known him since they were little, and we grew up with him. Anyway, she's here now. And, so sad. Oh yeah, Xavier. Here. This is Xavier? No, this one on the right is Xavier. Flowered? Yeah, there you go. You can see how fresh the graves are, right? Baseball player, softball player. And they just had a game the other day and they honored them before they, they started. Good family, good people, sweet people. There's no, no one's going to forget these kids. No one's going no. to uh, not come out here and visit them often and tend to them. That's why we also want to make the video to keep their memories going, you know, so they'll never be forgotten. Absolutely. Thank you for uh, showing us. Yeah, not a problem. Yeah. Thank you for showing us around and showing us the graves of the, the children. I wish I can, you know, say something. I just don't know. The speechless. It's really so sad. We we understand. Um, what can you say with something like this? Uh, it was a massacre. The worst nightmare that you could possibly think of. The worst thing on the planet that could possibly happen happened. And there's nothing you can say that would. Uh, give you any peace other than just you know taking it day by day loving each other loving the families not taking day for granted not taking your children for granted remembering things like that so like since this happened i can't get it out of my head like every day a day doesn't go by that i don't think about it we understand <laughs> we understand Trust me that's that. why i felt like we needed to come here and pay our respects and you know like it helped you a little yeah bit. just it, 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 I don't have kids, but you know, it just hit hard that innocent people had to innocent babies. pass away, if, you know? Yeah, and then the way that they went was one of the most violent ways you can go on the planet. It's, uh, they were helpless, and they were just little, little children. Just hanging out, watching videos, getting ready for the end of school, and two days to go, they were doing awards, and having fun, and looking forward to summer, and then this. That's what makes it so sad that they were days away from...